Hi everybody and welcome back. If you don't know it, I'm Nancy. This is Silky Intuitive Tarot and it's 2017. Thank the Lord we made it. Some of us are unscathed. 2016 was on some levels a brilliant year and on other levels it was devastating. We're hoping that uh, 2017 brings something so much better for those of us who paid a price for 2016. Wowie, it was a turbulent year and it robbed us of some of our favorite people, right? David Bowie, Prince, Carrie Fisher, and her mama Debbie, Debbie Reynolds, Glenn Fry. Oh my goodness, the list just goes on and on. It was pretty much a devastating year all, all the way around. Um, so we're moving on to a new year, a number one year. For all of those people who have passed on, George Michael, and uh, oh my God, the list just went on and on, didn't it? Thank goodness we ended on a high note. And nobody died on New Year's Day. Thank goodness. Thank someone. Thank goddess. So we're moving on now, though. Those people had completions. It was a number nine year. They completed their cycles. That's what 2016 was about. We're moving on. Some of us are looking at a brand new start. And with a brand new start, I have a brand new reading for you guys. Now... <clears throat> I designed this reading myself, for the most part. Um, we're calling it All About You. This video is for Capricorn. And it's the circle of life spread. There may be others out there. This one is my design. So, this is my layout. These are my questions. And so, we're going in. As soon as I'm feeling it's time to stop. Okay, I think we've got that. Now, these are, this is my um, New Vision Tarot. These are my New Vision Minis. So, I thought they'd be a really nice combination for uh, this New Year for Capricorn. This number one starts new beginning, fresh beginnings. I love fresh beginnings. Everything new has promise. Even if it came with a great big kick in the ass from 2016, we're looking at this with much more uh, promise, much more positivity. Uh, looking ahead, it's the only way that we can look at this year. We don't know much about it yet, although we do know that I'm just going to say it on a global level. Politics is really going through something. Now first, we're going to start with a focus card in the middle. And then we're going to look for the answer to who are you now? Who have you been in the past? What are your expectations? What do you need at this current time? Oops, I turned it over. Did you guys see that? I saw that too. Okay. This is the first time I'm throwing this on camera, so uh, be patient with me, okay? Uh, the fifth position. Uh, what does your support system look like? Um, number six asks the question, what inspires you? The next position asks, what are your outcomes? Or not the outcomes, sorry. What are your oh problems or hardships? And now we get our outcome card. Like I said, guys, I... Have been working on this for a while. It's my first time on camera. I'm a little bit nervous. Okay, so now, here we've got um, 
my reading for my Vimeo subscribers here. We've got the um, new tarot. It's called the After Tarot. This is a look at what happens after this. This is the sister card to this. So over at my Vimeo channel, we're going to look at you and a partner, either your current partner or a potential partner, and what January into February looks like for that relationship side by side. Just a little note, Vimeo is going to take a look at that uh, relationship situation over there. Now, ooh, I got to clear my head. I really need to clear my head. With you guys being my guinea pigs, hi Capricorn. You know, I use my own sign as my guinea pig. That's probably why you're feeling the way you are right now. Oh, I needed that. It was a sip of coffee. Now, again. We lay out the first card, which will be your focus. And then we look at who we are now, who we have been in the past, what we are expecting, what do we need at this current time, what does our support system look like, what inspires you, what problems or hardships may be coming your way, and the outcome. All right. Here we go. Now, Capricorn, in the first position, we look at the focus. And that focus is... The The Five of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles. So for some of you, your focus in the time of January going, to, going into February, and this would be a more broad scale, general outlook for most of you. But for some of you, it's focusing around mon money, independent finances. And the way I see this woman, she's looking out over the horizon. In this picture, it's shot from the back. What is she looking at? And for me, she's looking out over the horizon, almost asking herself, what is next? I've achieved so much. I would like to achieve more. But there's something bigger on the horizon for me. But with the Five of Wands, there's an inner conflict around what it is that she really wants at this time. And so she's focusing um, quite intently on <clears throat> what it is that she wants to accomplish in the future with what it is that she's already built. How does she make her world bigger, better, more complete? How does she turn everything to gold? Because she's looking at a golden sky. Wondering, things are looking bright, but I want the golden light. How do I achieve it? But there's a struggle. What is she struggling with? Is she struggling with the direction? And I say she, because it's a she in the picture. You know, fellas, I love you. But we're looking at answers about the direction that this possibly very independent person, male or female, doesn't matter. What do they want to do next? Now, we ask the first question. Who are you right now? Well, we have the Six of Wands and we have the Knave of Swords, which is our page. This is about communication, mental thinking with the sword. But the Knave always brings communication. He's our page. He brings those messages. So who you are right now, maybe making a, a clear statement to those around you. This is who I am. I am proud to be what I am. Some of you are going to be announcing to the world uh, that you're gay. 
I just came to me and with this kind of pride and almost kind of sudden uh, taken by surprised element around it, who you are now is basically proud of who you are and potentially walking the walk. But it's there's a, an element of freedom because we see the dove in the background. Beck talks about the freedom, the freedom that comes with speaking this kind of truth. Or for some of you, it's going to be outing yourselves. But who you are right now, whether you're outing yourselves or not, this is saying that you are proud of who you are and proud of who you have become and proud of what you have accomplished. Maybe that is part of this independent path you're focusing on, one that may be coming with a, an emotional or a, um, some kind of an internal struggle. But, you know, there's a release. There's a freedom with that. Next position. We ask, who have you been in the past? Well... For some of you, we have the moon and we have the tower. So who you have been, where you have been in the past has maybe been um, involved in keeping someone's secrets. For some of you, you may have found something out about a loved one or a friend in the recent past. And you know quite well that that secret that you are keeping may be leading to an end for someone or it has led to an end for something. But we know who you've been in the past is someone who has kept many secrets for the benefit of not only yourself but the benefit of other people. And I don't know why this is important for someone to hear this right now, but the secrets that you hold around someone's life. The secrets that you are keeping to yourself are the things that can end a situation, either for yourself or for someone else. But, and maybe that's why I keep getting the word outing yourself. Maybe the secrets that you've been keeping is this person who has kept that sacred to themselves because they know that the ending may be explosive. So in the past, you've been the keeper of secrets, either for yourself or some, someone else. And I would say that these secrets, you know, they can be brand new secrets, they can be ancient secrets that you've kept for a very long time. Right now, the message it has to be said that uh, this secret needs to be kept sacred. And that is a message directly from spirit. We're not going to say where it goes, who it's meant for, you will know it. If you are holding someone's desperately sacred secret or your own, <clears throat> spirit is saying there is an explosive end for someone. But we also know that with the explosive ending also comes the rising from the ashes, that phoenix. And that's what, you know, that's what the bird in this picture represents. And it's what the bird in this card represents. They all represent freedom, the dove. Uh, like I said, there are birds in every single one of these pictures so far. And the birds represent freedom. These people are flying after the destruction of the tower. I love the tower. Bless the tower, because the tower brings 
enlightenment. It brings necessary endings to situations that just have to change. Next, we have in the position of what are you expecting? What are your expectations from life at this time? My goodness, we have the Three of Wands and the Two of Cups. Well, some of you have your eye on a love partner, a soulmate. And some of you, because this is my soulmate card, uh, because of the nature, the healing nature of the card, along with the fact that there are two birds flying freely in the background. This is not you in an explosive situation anymore. This is you reaching out to someone new, to someone who's more like a soulmate, someone who has that soulmate connection. But in a situation with the Three of Wands where we know it has a great potential for growth, and so what we're expecting right now is that a partnership, a soulmate partnership, potentially could show a great ability to be more than what it looks like on the surface. Because it feels to some of you that maybe you have met your soulmate or that you've already planted some seeds of growth with that individual. Together, this is a relationship that really has the possibility of serious growth and abundance, uh, happiness, and it may already be showing the signs of promise. Uh, it just depends on you and whether or not you can resonate with this. Now, if this isn't resonating for you, check your sun, check your moon, check your rising signs. Because maybe together, pulled all together, this will really be making a lot more sense to you now. So we know your expectations is for some of you who have planted that seed. You're looking for further growth on what it is that you've invested yourself in. Uh, rather... Um, Spiritedly, I would say, this feels like a very uh, spirited kind of uh, relationship between you and this soulmate for whoever this is. If this is more on a general business level, this can be talking about you finding the perfect job and knowing that there is growth and potential there or the perfect home, the perfect city the perfect path, the perfect career, possibilities. Looking forward, this is really positive energy. But that speaks about expectations. Now, we look at what is it that you need from your life right now? Well, so we have the King of Wands, and we have uh, the Four of... Um, Wands or the Four of Rods, Four of Wands here in this deck. It's about that same passionate growth that we have here. Some of you are really what you're needing from the situation right now is maybe um, happy interaction with this King of Wands. Maybe what it is that you're needing is a more solid, secure uh, relationship with this King of Wands, uh, Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries, but he can just represent someone in your life who uh, you have a very um, passionate outlook of, but if this is a real person, this is you saying that maybe you need more from the relationship. Because as it falls in what you need right now, you've got this 
king of wands who you're considering that this is the happiness. This is where happiness could be. But uh, maybe you need more from this king of wands. Maybe he, he isn't interacting in your life at this time and you're needing more attention or time or time alone with this person. Now, what is your support system from others? Well, we have the Three of Cups, friends, family, those who we can be joyful in. But we also have some confusion. And this is around a love partner. So for those of you who know what I'm talking about, it seems like your friendships are great. Family is close. Everyone is loving and simpatico and everything. But he is getting along great. But your love partnership is a clouded, confused mess right now. Maybe we are talking about this King of Wands character. Or somebody who you're really very uh, heated about. You really want to spend time with this person, Capricorn. But and because their, their presence make you feel very warm, very secure happy sometimes and maybe there hasn't been much happiness with this person lately maybe their behavior has been confusing to you and maybe your emotions on what to do about this person is a little bit confusing right now and that's your support system your friendships family those who you absolutely get along with are terrific. You know, everybody turned up and turned out at the holidays. It was fun. It was warm. But that love relationship left you confused and maybe cold. Because maybe that person didn't turn out for you the way you had hoped or thought that they would. No, this is January. So a lot of us felt a little bit lost and disappointed by a love situation in 2016. So we're moving out of that. But we know that there is a little bit of cloudy confusion around this situation here. Next, we ask what your inspiration at this time is. Well, we have the Magician and the Five of Cups. So... What is inspiring you is the fact that you know you possess all of the tools at your disposal to create your world the way you want it in this portion of that cycle of life that we're taking right now. In this part of the year, you're very capable of creating things the way you want them. Uh, but... You're having a hard time looking away from things that have disappointed you, Capricorn. I know Capricorn. I am Capricorn. That's why I'm using you guys for my little, my, my friendly little guinea, guinea pigs on this reading. How are you liking it so far? So some of you are really having a hard time being inspired. Or maybe your inspiration was lost in December because... There was a disappointment there for some of you. But now it's time to turn around and look at the possibilities that are there. Because true manifestation is right at your fingertips. You possess the tools. Everything you need is right there at your disposal. Don't kid yourself anymore. This little monkey on your back, you see him? He's a trickster. He's a liar. And the internal dialogue that maybe kept you in a state of a bit of maybe melancholy or some sort of seasonal depression disorder. You're getting your mojo back the first of the year. The magician is here and saying, you guys, let's manifest because you have a goal, you have a desire, you even have your heart set, some of you, on a new love. 
Not everybody. Some of you, it's a new career path. It's a new way to take your prosperity in a brand new direction. Okay? And maybe love hasn't been looking so good. And maybe that's why we need to concentrate more on what we're developing. If we're lost and disappointed on love, Spirit is saying, let's get over that because you have a direction, you have a desire, you have a goal. Uh, it's time, baby, to manifest right here. Next, what are the problems and hardships that you may face in the next month? Now, what the heck? Okay, here we go again, guys. We've got the Knight of Wands. Now, we don't have him here anywhere else, but he delivers a desire. He is all about the real thing, the production. He's about the event. And so he brings this... He brings this action, this development. And under hardship, we have the Nine of Pentacles again. So maybe what I'm thinking is you're having a hard time lifting off. Maybe in January, we're at the early stages of focusing on this kind of success. Because we know this kind of success doesn't happen overnight. And maybe one of our obstacles at this time is getting over that first hump on the road to prosperity. That hump may have very well been December. That may be where the obstacle was at. Was way the hell back in December when... Uh, you know, the universe was ending cycles for wonderful people. And now we're being carried forward into a new year where we're shedding the obstacles that have kept us from this. And now the Knight of Wands says, get out of my way. I'm moving forward. I've overcome the hardship. I've seen where I went wrong. I'm not looking at the disappointment anymore. I'm moving forward into a better future. Now, the last position asks about our outcome. Wow. Well, we have the Knight of Swords now. And he brings swift, aggressive, rapid action in whatever it is that you are deciding on with the two of wands. So your outcome during the month, and it's a wand again, it's about growth. It can be about success. So you've made a choice in January about where you want to take your successful path. Whether it's career, whether it's love, whatever you are pursuing in such a passionate manner, during the month of January and into February. This is a guy who has made a heartfelt choice. He's well examined his situation and now he has chosen his path life. Look at, look, he's holding the world. So he's made his choice out of a world of possibilities. And the outcome during this time period for you guys is the direction, the direction that you have chosen. And that's going to be completely up to you guys. Now, my beautiful daughter gave me this book over the weekend. She has regifted it to me, which I absolutely love. Her beautiful energy is all over it. And so, uh, I'm sharing it with you guys today. We're going to take an oracle reading out of this book. Now, I'm going to use the Two of Cups to mark the page for me. Here we go. Right here. And you guys have chosen the sign of Pisces. 
the fish. It says, assures that everything will fall into place. There we go, guys. There's our oracle reading <laughs> for today, this month anyway. Uh, there you go. Things are going to fall into place for you guys. Now, if you want a reading meant just for you, uh, after this, you can go uh, to my Weebly website. Fill out the contact sheet with the reading of your choice. It's very simple. Pick one from the readings and prices page. Tell me on the contact form simply what it is that you want. Guys, um... After you have paid your invoice is when you should send me your information. Because you guys send me a lot of information, a lot of stories, and sometimes it's too much information, by the way. But I let it go because Michael, he reads them. My spirit guide, he taps into whatever he flashes on and he holds it for me. And so... Gratitude to Michael for uh, coming with me in 2017. Um, so reach out to me there if you want a reading. If you want uh, to watch your love reading, where I go in with the after tarot deck um, and another reading from the Oracle book. If you go over to my Vimeo channel, I'll leave the link down below. You can reach out there and find your love readings for your sun, your moon, and your rising. And until the next time, guys, happy 2017. Peace, love, joy all over the world. We certainly do need it. 2017, well, goodness, things are still happening all over the world, but we have hope. We have hope in the number one year. Let's hope. That is promising. And until next time, take care of yourselves, those you love and those who love you back. And peace. <laughs>